wild fallow deer rutting in our woods. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. But they're very sensitive animals, really skitty, difficult to get close to, difficult. Seeing the majesty of autumn from a hot air balloon. Oh, hot air balloon, eh? Hot air balloon. Very sensitive when it comes to the weather. One gust and you're over China, mate. Over China. OK, OK. Eels migrating through our rivers. Eels, 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 eels. Slippery customers. Difficult to get to grips with. Mm. Can we do it? Of course we can. <laughs> Welcome to Autumn Watch Live. Right now, the UK's woodlands are a blaze of colour. Everywhere you look, it's a feast for the eyes. Now's the perfect time for a walk in the woods. Well, here at Westonbud, there is one even better way to take in the full splendour of autumn. Of course, aside from the beauty, there's an awful lot going on here. Animals are stocking up on autumn's rich bounty whilst others are preparing to hibernate. Look at this, what a spectacle. You can't beat it. And now you can see the fabulous variety here. Some leaves have already dropped off the trees. Some of them are still green. You've got these wonderful oranges, reds, all the colours of autumn. The change in autumn colour is quite a complicated process. And it depends on three things. Rainfall, day length and temperature. And they all interact. So you might get, say, a beech tree that's in a nice wet place and it will hang on to its leaves much longer than another beech tree in a very dry place. It's a very subtle process. Now the critical thing that happens is that the chlorophyll, the green pigment in the leaves, starts to break down and other pigments start to show through. You've also got the variety of trees from around the world, so they're changing colour at different times anyway. There can't be a better way to see the full glory of Western Bird than from a hot air balloon. Fabulous. There's a downside for every balloon flight, and here it comes. <laughs> Well, I've got to say, we do a lot of travelling for Autumn Watch. It's usually planes, trains and automobiles, but I think that's a first for a hot air balloon, isn't hot it? Hot air balloon, yeah. Was it fun? It was fun, and we landed quite gently. And there was absolutely no champagne. Oh, <laughs> thanks, BBC. 